Lego. Hello everyone, my name is Miranda and today I'm here to review the Netflix adaption of To All the Boys I Loved Before. Now I did have a reaction video on this where I kind of said most of my thoughts on what this wonderful movie was, but I did want to do a official review of it just to get like my combobulated thoughts all together and not just have me screaming and crying and smiling. So I was excited for this movie coming out. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the books as I said in my reaction video. I didn't finish book one and then I never read book two and three even though those covers always drew me in. When I remember when um, Always and Forever Lara Jean came out and I was like do I need this <laughs> even though I hadn't read any of the other ones because they're just so beautiful. Uh, so I was cautiously optimistic going into this because it looks super cute. I really love uh, Noah Siento. Um, I knew him from the, the Havana music video and I loved him in that so I was really excited to see him play a romantic lead and I was just, yeah, I didn't love the book, I didn't love the story and I knew that they might have made it really cheesy but Netflix has been doing such a good job with their movies lately, especially their romance movies, so I was really excited and watching it I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it was so good guys and I have a hanger in my hand so if you just see that pop up randomly I'm just playing with it so I'm not alone in saying this like literally there are so many BuzzFeed articles about it all my friends are always texting or posting on their pages they're like watching to all the boys I love before for the fifth time and it was just it's literally a phenomenon and I am so shook by how much I loved this movie I think what it really helped it for me was obviously the two leads were so so good and so charismatic but what I really really think helped too was that they changed some things in the books and those things were mainly what the like the problems I had with the books so first of all they changed Kitty so she sent the letters out as more of like a sisterly act of love you know and trying to help her sister come out of her shell and help her get a boyfriend which Kitty hook a girl up please like you aced it out of the park with this one and in the book it was more like she was mad at her she knew about these letters and then they disappeared and you were kind of like Laura Laura honey these letters got sent out the day after you had a huge fight with your sister like let's put it together and that maybe that's how they got out whereas this one it was like Kitty wasn't mad at her so it was kind of like how in the world did these letters get out and it may it was more believable but it also was less focused on the letters getting out like she was just kind of like the letters are out this sucks and not just like so spending so much time lamenting on how did they get out and stuff like that which I appreciated and Kitty was just so cute in this movie guys I loved Kitty like everyone needs a sister like Kitty honestly but another thing that I really liked too was I think in pushing Josh to the back more um they really helped focus on Peter and Lara's relationship specifically so if you haven't read the book I don't want to spoil it in case you do but Josh has a much more like love role I would say I'm um, bad for Josh because I kind of felt like he lost his girlfriend and his best friend in one go because Lara was just constantly avoiding him so I did feel bad for Josh but at the same time like what did, what did Peter call him I loved it oh my gosh what was it just so good when he showed up like out of the blue with his hood on like Laura you need help and <laughs> Peter was like you're still with this blink 182 wannabe something like that oh my gosh it was so good but I just feel like yeah like on one hand I felt bad for Josh but on the other hand they put him in the background enough I feel like that it was it was okay that like he wasn't the main focus you know which I really like because then again you can focus on Peter and Lara's relationship and how beautiful it is. I think a lot of this movie we owe to the writing but also just how Lana and Noah delivered their relationship. Like half the stuff that I loved about Peter you end up finding out is improvised. Like the, when he splashes the water in the hot tub and when he does the little spin with her like that's all improvised and I just feel like they're both so adorable and so cute like their facial expressions throughout this movie had me cracking up and just were so so relatable. I love them both so much. I think they're so amazing and so amazing together and they really like encaptured I feel like Peter and Laura. I didn't realize Peter was that much of a dork in the books which I really really like seeing. He's just such like a like cheese ball. <laughs> I really loved it and I loved um seeing I feel like it's a very kind of it's not anything new seeing like a girl like pulling herself away from a guy because she's like there's no way he could possibly love me but I really liked how 
she was called out for it by, you know, by Josh, by her sisters, by her dad, by Peter himself. Like, they were all kind of like, you're pushing him away and denying yourself happiness because you're, like, afraid of something really great happening, you know? And I think Peter knew that about her when she said, like, oh, if you don't let anyone else in, then no one else can leave and hurt you. And I think that was a big thing. It was just, it was awesome seeing how they talk to each other. Like, I, as much as I love the hot tub scenes, as much as I loved them being adorable, I also loved the diner scene when they talked about their parents, how her mom died and his dad left. And I loved, loved how she was so willing to talk to him like he was kind of like you know my thing is nowhere near the same as your thing it's whatever and he's like well I understand if you don't want to talk about it but it's not whatever it matters and it obviously affects you and I think that was the first time someone like actually was like you can talk about this and I love that she just wasn't like oh that's fine like you don't want to talk about it or yeah you're right it's not the same she was like you don't have to talk about it I get that but it does matter and that I think was important and then we also saw at the dinner how they talk to each other after and how, you know, they both kind of just consoled each other and kind of made it like what you feel is valid and it's it's okay to feel those things but more importantly it's more important to admit that you feel those things and I just think they're such a cute good couple and that's why I said this before I really don't think I'll watch the sequels if they make them as cute as I'm sure they will be just because I don't want to see them be conflicted and have other people come into their relationship and stuff like that like I just want to imagine them happy and in love like they are now so while well, I'm super happy that the sequel will most likely get made because thousands of people have signed that petition and literally everyone's talking about this movie like I said I don't think I'm gonna watch it just because I want to remember how happy they are now so we'll see basically to sum it up I walked away from this movie in love with Peter and Laura in love with Lana in love with Noah and just all around, I need to find me a Peter now. So, um, Kitty, if you've got anyone you know, that would really, really help. I just super, super love this movie, guys. I was so impressed with it. It was so cute, so light and bubbly, but then they also had a good relationship. Like, it was a good, strong relationship, no matter if they're teenagers or not. They talked to each other, they communicated well, they respected each other's boundaries, and... It was just so great, guys. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely, definitely going to go watch it so many more times. And if you have seen the movie, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel down below to make all sorts of new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!